Hello everyone again, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just got um, results from last night's. Um, I were gonna, I did take my phone with me because I were planning on recording the actual um, me diving. <laughs> Start with this bag. <sighs> Got one of them. <laughs> Not sure what it is. I think it goes to something um, that's in the box, which is in that bag, which we'll get round to shortly. Um, some of this is, a lot of this is like broken stuff, but I've got it so that I can. Um, I keep it for later or fix things. Um, that's a little fan again. I don't know actually know what this is off either, but, but um, you never know. I'm sure, I'll find a use for it. That's for sure. And then, oh, come on. And then I got that. <laughs> that's part of an helicopter. Um, uh, obviously there's a bit of damage on it um, that's something to note but it's the same model as the, the one I found earlier um, or the, the last time my last dive uh, so I've got spare parts if you know that's what I pick it up for the spare parts there that I can use um, so yeah that's that what else is there? What else has he got in the bag? I have. Okay, let's have a look. See what this actually is. Some kind of a dragon. I've only just noticed his legs are missing. Right. It's actually quite a nice looking dragon. What's this? Saying on here. Shiloish. Shiloish. I don't know. It, it sounds German to me because I can't pronounce it. I know that. Uh, oh, there we are. Eldrador creatures is what it is. Which is fine. I've never heard of it. But, uh, yeah. Sure, I'll come. Everything can be used for some reason, you know. And everything in this bag is now stuck. Uh, what we got? <laughs> One of my favourite items, a remote control. With batteries. Ooh. So that's batteries as well. Put that down there for a minute. <clears throat> And there's a remote control for the the helicopter part that I've found. Um, now on the last dive that I did, I did find an helicopter which was okay. Um, I have fixed it now, so. But if you remember, the remote control was truly smashed up. Now uh, this is the opposite. They smashed the helicopter, but not the controller. So it's. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all, so hopefully that'll work the the helicopter that I uh, found. Um, some kind of remote control. Again, I think it's for the item in the box that's in the bag. So we'll have a look at that after. If you don't go to the item in the box, I have no idea what it's for, but... There you go. Uh, that's another part of the helicopter. Um, seems to be in better condition than the last one I, I have actually, so I might just um, use that. Oh, it's broken there a little bit, but we can fix that. The rest of it's in okay condition. Uh. Oops, there we are, we've got another remote control, this is for 
uh, the Lamborghini that I found last time. Um, so yeah, I do have the Lamborghini as well in here, but unfortunately it's in uh, non non use as it's truly truly smashed. Some paperwork for something. Here we have a quadcopter or a drone, call them what you want. A red one, it actually looks. Oh, hang on. It were looking alright until I just seen that little bit there. But, um. Again, should be able to fix that quite easily. Is that a the camera up front. Doesn't look like a camera. I don't think it's a screen. I don't think it might be a camera one. That'll be alright. Have a look at that later. What else have I got in here? Aha! I'm thinking that goes to that little drone that I just seen. I'm sure it does. Remote control. So I presume it connects to your mobile phone. So you put your mobile phone in that holder there. So you can see the camera. I would at least think that's what it does. Um, not bothered about that. I've got some backs. I've also got some more of these controllers actually. Spare ones. So yeah. That's that. Um, we got here. An adapter. Always useful. Um, I don't actually know if I can see it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up either. No, well, I can't actually see what it is. Uh, oh, 12 volt, 500 milliamps DC. So, I'll go with my collection that I've got. I have a nice collection over there of adapters. Plus, I have a lot more of them upstairs. Um, like this. And I found this dish, which I presume is for some kind of pot puree or something along them lines. It basically, just in all that condition. Uh, yeah, it's just pop puree display of some form. Yeah, some will come across. Come across some. Got a few more gift cards, which I will at some point have a look at. I'm just like saving up a few. Um, so far, I've not actually had any luck with gift cards. I've not found anything that's got any money on um brand new packet of bulbs although you hear that one of them is at least broke but i'm sure there'll be at least one that's all right even everything inside this bag's wet through to a degree um some more gift cards there um there's another one Invisible shield. Avoid well, touching the DC. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's complete. I'm not 100% sure, but she'll find out at a later time. Oh, there's another uh, gift card. Uh, mobile phone case. These are from. Uh, PC World, car phone warehouse. Seems they're now one company. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not actually sure what phone it's for. It looks like it's possibly Samsung, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 
another part of the phone case. Uh, these are spares for the helicopter, spare blades, um, screws, which is good, coming useful. Um, that's just some black screws, self tapping screws, by looks of it. What else have I got in here? Not from wet fingers. Another gift card. <laughs> uh, a little charger. Uh, another charger. And there we go, a battery. You've got to get a battery. Why buy batteries when you can get them for nothing? Um, this is for an ice hockey table game. Um, should be another one in this bag. Unfortunately, the table was completely trashed. So I had to leave that where it was. Um, battery old pack holder, which has got some kind of batteries in. We can just make out. The camera is going to focus on it with the batteries. So there's a few more batteries there. There's what the disc for the air rocky table. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this bag. There's the other one. Um, oh, no, there are a few other little bits in there. Ta -da! Another battery. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's soaking wet, whatever it is. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, another disc, that's for that. Uh, that's an empty bag. I'm going to bin. I've also got the manual for the helicopter. And that's just rubbish. We'll find the bin. There we go, get rid of that. What else is in here? Some more paperwork, something. Um, I think this little bit of plastic may come from the helicopter. <laughs> I'm going to put it with the helicopter. Uh, I think that's pretty much it in there now. There's some little screw things or whatever they are. Should be another one in there somewhere. I think they're from the table, air rocky table. Yeah. I can't see how else. It's wet through at the bottom of there. Oh, there's the other one on my floor. There we go. So that gives me the set of four. And then over to this bag here. See if I can undo it with one hand. Um, get in there, get in there. Come on. There we go. There we go, we've got it. Let's see what we've got in here. So to protect them, like I say, it was raining quite heavily last night. So I was absolutely soaked by the time I got home, but it's all worth it, so I don't mind. Um, I've... Uh, Pepper's Sing and Learn microphone. Obviously got damage to it, but um, no, wires will come off. But it's fixable. I can fix that. Um, so yeah, so that should be all right. It shouldn't take too much fixing. Um, 
Okay, okay, we'll get the box. We'll get the box. The box is uh, VTEC Baby Lullaby Lambs Mobile. Um, oh, there we go. There's that party ad area. So that's that bit, which is some kind of remote control, which will control this bit for the stars. Um, just opening it's all in here. And I picked as much as I as I could find, so I'm hoping I've got it all. Uh, I know it don't look good at minute, but oh I've just remembered I dropped. What a bugger. The arm this arm here. I did pick it up and I dropped it and it went behind one of the uh, dumpsters and I forgot to go back to get it. So hopefully next time I go back um, it'll still be there, I should imagine. Um, and I'll pick it up then. But yeah, I do have it. And there's the the first thing that I took out of the bag, the blue bit. So it's, it is part of this, so that's good. That's the... Oops, that's for the base of it. Which is that bit. Which holds this. Oh, so that holds that in there somewhere. Like that. Yeah. So yeah, we've got that part. Like I say, that's the the hang, the hang where they hang from. Um. And I think the the lambs have come out. And hopefully this is the star star projector. There we go. I lost my words for a moment then. But um yep, yeah, there's that. Um, I'm not sure why this will have been returned. I'm not sure if, what part of it's not working. But whatever it is, it's you know it's it's all fixable, it's just obviously, you know, you go to a shop, you buy something, you want it working, so, you know, that's why they send them back, which is fully understandable. Um, so that's them, and then we've got one little lamb. And we've got number two lamb. And we've got number three lamb. So that's all three lambs for hanging on it. And that looks like the part that connects to the, I don't know, pram, cart, whatever it is you stick it on. Cart, isn't it? Pram. I'm going to stick a mobile on the pram for. That's just me being dumb. But we all have those moments, you know. Um... The, the next thing out of the bag is another one of these remotes. Um, it feels quite light, so I don't know if there's actually any batteries in it, but I'll check it out later. Um, we've got another one of these. Spinny gadget, whatever it is. Um, obviously it's broken, but you know I've got that many of these now. I'll probably get Two, two out of what I've actually got, so you know it's it's not too bad. Got everything, all the electrics inside it look all right. The batteries there, the circuit board don't look broke. So I should imagine that'll work. Let me if we can turn it on. Let's see if there's any power in it. We, yeah, but it's not going to spin, is it? So yeah, the motor's not spinning, but... <clears throat> like I said, we'll get it working. I have confidence in myself. Um, paper, don't know what that was for. Um, this... Oh, broken more than what it were last time I looked at it. This here... This little funny looking thing is the, it was a, uh, a globe, the light up globe, um, 
Now I brought this back um, really for a lamp, just to be used as a, a, just a standard lamp really. Um, I don't know, maybe it's... Oh right, that's the bulb. The bulb that's broke. So that's something I know, I can... I can get the bulb out of there, no problems. In fact, I could probably connect that back up because it's all the electrics are inside, and then just glue that bit on. Yeah, because that spins out quite. Oh, look at that. That was easy. Some might say too easy, but um, yeah, I can probably fix fix even that bulb if it's if it worth it. Oh, it's an LED bulb, isn't it? So I'm sure that's fixable. But yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I might make an art lab. Um, but you can you can buy like all these different kind of bulbs now. You know, remote control, color flashing, color changing. So it doesn't have to be a bright bright lamp. But anyhow, that's my reason for bringing it back. Um, well the next items are the Lamborghini <laughs> and I did say it was broken um, it's also stuck there we go Let's see if I can uh, stop. Oops, sorry about that I'll uh, put it up get this bag off it there we go so let's Yeah, so that's um, what they've left me, but like I say, I mean, the reason it's all internals look alright, you know, spare parts. The battery will be inside there as well. Um, so, you've got, obviously, you've got motors for the tyres, battery, the um, recharging. Which I think, if I remember rightly, is the USB wire that just sticks out. Um, so yeah, although the car's not actually in a usable state, the parts on it are, you know, they're, they're going to be okay, spare parts. And if I find anything in the future, you know, the same car or from the same manufacturer, you, you, it's just spare parts, isn't it? So... <clears throat> That's what I brought that one back for. Um, uh, we've got one more thing here. I know it's a big box, but it is only one item. <clears throat> so we can just make a little bit of room down here so I can move. There's this mobile stuff. There we go. <clears throat> Everything's crashing. That's part of the car. So, what we have, and again, you know, this is a broken item, but hopefully fixable. Um, it's in a plastic bag because obviously it was raining. Um, as you can see there, it says Dark Shadow. Um, and I keep saying erm a lot, which I do anyhow, and it does my head in. But hopefully you can all cope with that and I'll try to cut down on the amount of worms I use in a video. There we go. Oh. I'm hoping the box I'm just going to... I mean, I protected it, but it is wet, so obviously water got in there somehow. But there we go, dark shadow. That's what it's. That's what it looks like. Which way? See if we can get a better picture. There we go. And I've got a tag on here telling me what the fault was, and it says car doesn't drive properly after charged. So. Um, that's what I get to look into. 
Let's see, see if it's salvageable. And I'm going to just open this up. First of all, we've got. Uh, God, I bet it they've stuck that in. Wow, charger for it. We got a quick charger. Whoop. <clears throat> yep. Quick charger. Easy tech. Uh, so twelve volt, two hundred milliamps. Yep. That's the charger for it. Then we've got. Really stuck these in these. I oh, will get that out last. Move <clears> that <throat> over there a minute. Or manual. Uh, and instruction manual for it. And the car itself. Which, to be fair, is not in terrible condition, which is why I brought it back in the box. Because um, I'm hoping I can fix this. Uh, wheels, there's no cracks on the actual outer casing. The front wheels are broken, snapped off. Um, but, like I said, I'm hoping that we can fix them in some sense uh, a bit of super glue I don't know, hot glue epoxy something along them lines should be able to fix them all back on I'm hoping um, I do have the wheels <coughs> that is quite a, a large car I forget what scale it is I don't know if it tells me on here No, I don't think it does tell you. Oh, if we got that, let's see if we can get a bit more light on it. Oh, that's better. So we've got a frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. It's got full function. Pistol grip controller. 100 mile per hour scale. Or, or 160 kilometers an hour scale. Um, can run multiple cars. The scale is one eighth. Uh, it's got suspension on and ready to run. Um, so, yeah, like I say, it, it, I mean, I've not checked on what price this what actually was when they sold it. But you can bet it probably weren't cheap. Nice blue wheels. Um, yep, let's we'll see, I've just done it again. But that's, so I think it goes on that way around. I'll go like that. And the little steering bar goes into the little hole there. And then you've got the pins. Connect it to the casing. Same on that one, exactly the same. Um, and the tyres needs putting back on a bit. That one's slightly broken, but... That ain't going to affect it. So that gives me that. Gives me a complete car, but it just, I've got to try and fix it. Like I said, it's, it doesn't look like it's a hard, an hard, difficult fix. Um, Jesus. There's the batteries in here, but it is really stuck in there. You see the battery in there? Hey, a 9.6 volt battery. I'll have to get it out when I've got two hands. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, the other thing I got was some... Um, some bread. That we got it sell by date. Um, one of them was the 20th of January. And some of the others were the 21st of January, which... 
are now sitting in my freezer. So, I mean, it was only the 22nd today. So they only actually ran out. Well, some of them only ran out yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I've got some uh, some bread, which, you know, saves me buying some for a bit. Uh, like I say, once I've opened them, from well, defrosted them, I should get a minimum of two days out of it. Um, and some of it is actually toasted bread, which I was going to say, you know, the, the bread's going to be fine for toast anyhow. So, um, But some of it is actually toasted bread, and there is a, a Warburton Super Toasty. So, and there were some fruit tea cakes, but I've already started eating them. <laughs> I had some of them last night when I got back. Um, so, yeah, so that that's... That's what I got from last night's diving. Um, next time, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm after doing another where I, you know, I, I take you around and you see it as it happens. It's just, like I say, the weather last night just weren't, weren't good for it. So, but hopefully the next one, hopefully. But uh, apart from that, that's that's it really for me now. Um, and I keep saying home. Um, how many times have I said that in this video? I'd I dread to think. So, yep. So, you know, subscribe and like if you're not already subscribed. Like, you know, if you like the video. And please, you know, leave comments. Um, let me know what you, you know, you want to see. Um, what, what you don't want to see. Um, I'm not sure if you prefer going round with me as it happens or just these you know results um, I'm sure there'll be mixed feelings on it but um, like I say leave comments let me know and um, also I hope um, everyone likes the the little intro that I've made um, which I made using Blender which is a free 3D modeling software um, apart from the, the background photograph which you know, I downloaded from a, a royalty-free website, um, but I have included the, the photographer's name, um, which you'll you'll see on the the intro. Um, so yeah, enough of me gabbing now. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.